So in this video, I want to show you how we can calculate different emissions from tanks here in ProMax. So we have a very simple setup here, just an atmospheric tank with our pressurized liquid coming in. And we want to be able to calculate our different emission losses. So we want to be able to calculate things like our working and breathing losses, also our loading losses, and also obviously our flash gas losses as well. And so we can use a stencil that we have within ProMax or a little calculator we've created to very quickly and easily make those calculations. To find this stencil, we need to come into the ProMax property stencil here in our shape options. You can find that here inside more shapes. If you scroll down to ProMax property stencil and open that up, we should find it here in our list where it says tank losses. If you can't find tank losses in your list here, there's a chance that you just have an older version of our stencil. And so we're always updating and improving these stencils. So if you don't find it in your list, just give us an email or, or call us here and we can send you an updated version so that you can have this calculator to use for your tanks. But once we find it here in our list, I can grab tank losses and drag this out on the page. And it will bring up a window asking me what stream I want to look at. So we're going to be looking at our pressurized liquid coming into our tank so we can get the flash losses off of that stream once it's entered our atmospheric tank. And when I click OK, that will bring up this uh, tank losses sheet for us. It's here on this sheet that we will put in all the information we need to in order to make the calculations. So it's going to ask us for geometry information on our tank, things of that nature. If you're not sure what all information you need, up here at the top where I drop the stencil, it tells us the inputs that are required as we go along. And so that's there to help you make sure you get all the information put in. The very first thing we'll look at is our tank geometry. So whether we have a vertical cylinder or a horizontal cylinder. In this example, we'll say we have a vertical cylinder. We need to give it its length and diameter, or its height and diameter in this case. So I'll say it's a height of 25 feet and a 12 foot diameter here. Next, I can tell it how many storage tanks I have. So if you have more than one, I'll say I have five different tanks in this example. And next, I come here to choose my location. So these are different locations, which will have different atmospheric pressures and different surface temperatures. And so we need to choose a location in here. I'm going to scroll through the list. And let's pick Sioux Falls here as my location. Once I have my location selected, I need to choose what material I'm using. So looking in this list, I choose whether it's a light organic or a heavy crude that I'm putting into my tank. And in this example, we're using a heavy crude. Next, I can tell it what color my tank is. And this color will actually have a very big effect on your losses. So I'm going to say my tank color here is a medium gray. And we'll say that it's in good condition, the paint's in good condition. Here below, I can also choose a roof color. So the roof and the tank can be different colors, or you can make them the same color. I'll go ahead and say this is medium gray as well. And uh, good condition is fine here too. Next, I need to choose what type of roof I have. This can be either a domed roof or a cone roof. I'll choose a cone and leave this uh, default slope that we have in here as my last specification. If I scroll down to the very bottom, here it asks me what information I need to calculate in the output. So again, we have our loading losses, our flashing losses, and also our working and breathing losses. And all these calculations are performed according to AP42. And so we can choose which ones we want to calculate. Right now I'm going to unselect my loading losses here. And so I'm only outputting my flashing and working and breathing losses. And we can see that those are now output here onto my page. So we have working and breathing losses of about 12 and a half tons and our flashing losses of 111 tons per year. So those calculations have been performed. Now if I want to calculate my loading losses, I can select that here in my list again. And I'll also select that I want to output that onto my page. 
And now it says I need to input an overall reduction efficiency. So in order to calculate our loading losses, we're going to need a little bit more information. Looking at the tabs up top here, we'll see a loading loss parameters tab. And if I select that tab, that's where I'm going to input this additional information. It's going to ask me for our type of cargo carrier and also our mode of operation, which I'll leave alone in this example. And then it will ask us for our overall reduction efficiency, which I will say is 65%. And with that little bit more of information, we can see now that our loading losses are also calculated for us, a little less than two tons per year. And so now we've been able to calculate and output all these different losses from our tank. Looking through more of the tabs here within the stencil, we come to the results tab. This is where we can find the atmospheric pressure for our location, as well as this maximum liquid surface temperature we can expect, and other information in here as well. In the working and breathing report tab, this will give us a compositional breakdown of our working and also our breathing losses that can be found here. Now, if you wanted to use these compositions in Promax or within a stream in Promax, we can add a stream that has this composition. If I close my tank and come over here to add a new stream, I can actually add a stream to my stencil here. If I zoom into the right side of the stencil, we'll see these words that represent our flashing losses, our working and breathing losses, and also our loading losses here. If I attach a stream to my working and breathing losses, we'll see that turn green, and that stream now contains that composition. And so we could use that composition within our uh, Promax simulation. And so that's how this tank losses stencil works and how it performs these calculations, again, according to AP42. So this is a very useful tool that a lot of people use, and we encourage you to, to find good use in that. And hopefully this video has been helpful for you here today. If you have any additional questions, uh, you feel free to give us a call or send us an email here. Our phone number is 979-776-5220, or you can send us an email at support at bre.com, and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. So thank you for watching this today, and we hope you all have a good day.